for this knot, you need one end of your rope. Make a loop with your rope. Take the tail end and cross it over the long piece of rope. Take that tail end, wrap it behind the long piece so it comes back to the front, and then you're going to poke it through the big loop and pull it tight. For this knot, you will need both ends of your rope. Lay them down so they are laying parallel with each other. Take the left end and cross it over the right end. Tuck that end under like a basic shoelace knot. Take the right one that's on the right side now, cross it over the left side, and tuck it under like you're making a basic shoelace. Pull it tight and it should look like an old-fashioned life jacket if you've done it correctly. Start by making a rainbow with one end of your rope. Pinch the rope so the loop comes to the inside of the rainbow. Twist it towards you so the small tail end is on top. Take the tail end, put it through that small loop. Now go around the long end. Go back through the small loop and then pull it tight using both ends from the tail and your long end. Stick the end through the middle part of the horn cleat. Pull as much through as you want. Take it and wrap it around the horns, creating a figure eight. Now make a loop with your rope so that the tail end is underneath. Loop it onto your horn, pulling it tight so that tail is hard, secured underneath. Repeat that on the other horn. Now it won't move since it's pressured and holding it down. Take the end of your rope and put it between your thumb and your fingers. Take your arm down the rope about one arm's length down. Take that spot and put it in between your fingers, creating a loop. Continue doing that until you have about two feet of rope left. Take the two feet and wrap it all around the big loops three or four times. Make a small loop with the end. Shove it through all the big loops, open it up so it goes over the rest of the big loops, and then pull the end to tighten 